In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create some awesome looking graphs inside of Blender by using the free G scatter add-on. It is based on geometry nodes and you can use it to scatter anything you want. You can download it by following the link in the description. But make sure that you have installed Blender version 2.93 because it won't work in the previous version. Then open up Blender, go to edit, preferences and install the add-on. I've already installed it. Then enable the add-on. And now when we open up the sidebar, we can see the G scatter option. Click on that. And the first thing we have to do is to choose the object on which we want to scatter the grass. So I'm going to select my landscape. And now we can scatter some pre-made assets or we can scatter our own assets. But first I'm going to show you how you can scatter the pre-made assets. So to do that, click on the asset browser. Then choose the asset you want to scatter. I'm going to select this one. And now we have to change a few settings. First, the grow type is set to clump, and that's good because we don't want to scatter single strands of grass, we want clumps of grass. The level of detail you can change it to low if your PC can't handle it. For this tutorial, I'm gonna set that to low, and for the material quality, I'm gonna set that to medium. Then click on S scatter selected and press OK. And now we have grass scattered on our landscape. So now let's explore some of the settings. Starting by the density, you can change the density to increase or decrease the amount of grass. I'm gonna increase the density. You can also change the position speed to get a random position. You can also limit the intersections by enabling this limit intersections option and increasing the minimum distance value. I'm gonna disable that because, because grass grows close to each other and we don't want gaps in between them. So I'm gonna disable that and we can also change the scale and the randomness of the scale. I'm gonna randomize the scale of the grass because grass isn't of the same scale, it's always random. Something like this. You can also change the scale speed to get a random scale value. We can also rotate the grass on each individual axis. I'm gonna rotate them on the X and Y a little bit, not too much because it will look bad. Something like this looks good. I'm gonna rotate it on the z-axis, something like this, whatever you like. And I'm gonna crank up the randomness all the way up. You can also change the rotation speed to get a random rotation. And the grass is now looking pretty good, but there's a problem that when we move the landscape, the grass doesn't follow it. And I also added a displacement modifier. And when we change the strength, the grass remains at the same place. So the way I fixed it is to select the grass, then change the workspace to geometry node editor. And now we can drag and drop the object on which we have scattered the grass, which adds an object info node with the object selected. And now we have to connect the geometry output to the geometry input of the point distribute node. And now when we move the plane, nothing happens. And the reason for that is, the transform space is set to original and we have to set that to relative so that it takes the local transformations of the object. And if that doesn't make any sense, don't worry, just set the transform space to relative. And now when we move it, the grass follows the plane. And when we change the strength, the grass also follows that. And there's one problem left to fix is that our grass is scattered everywhere on the landscape and it's a waste of memory because it won't be visible in the camera to fix that select the grass then we have an option called vertex mask click on that and now the grass disappears and it's because we have to paint our vertex group so go to weight paint mode make sure that the weight is set to one and the strength is also set to one then start painting on the landscape and one thing you may have noticed is that we can't see the weight painting. So if you want to see the weight painting, go to object mode, then select the landscape, then go to weight paint and, and start painting. And one thing to keep in mind is that when you are painting, is that you have selected the correct vertex group because if you haven't, then the grass won't appear. And to make sure that you have selected the correct vertex group, is to see the name of the grass mine is creeping bent grass blah 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 then i have to select the vertex group creeping bent grass blah 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 then just paint where the grass will be visible in the camera 
A few moments later. Now I'm gonna select the grass and I'm gonna increase the density up to 60. And now let's add some more assets. Click on the asset browser. I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna lower down the level of detail and I'm gonna set the material quality to medium. Select G scatter selected and then press OK. I'm gonna randomize the scale something like this and the grass is looking so big so I'm gonna scale it down something like this I'm gonna randomize the rotation something like this I'm gonna drag and drop this object from the outliner as we did earlier then I'm gonna set that to relative and connect the geometry to the geometry and if you want to you can use the same vertex group that we painted earlier for the density of this grass also so to do that I'm gonna select the landscape go to object data properties hold the mouse over this vertex group then press ctrl C then I'm gonna select the grass then paste it into the density attribute and now this grass is also using the same vertex group for the density but I'm gonna clear the attribute because I want this grass to be on another location so I'm gonna paint another vertex group for this grass so I'm gonna click on this vertex mask button then select the landscape go to weight paint mode and then I'm gonna paint where I want the big grass to be we can't see the grass this is because the density is pretty low because the density is low so i'm gonna select the big graph then i'm gonna increase the density to something like seven or maybe eight then i'm gonna select the landscape again go to weight paint and now i'm gonna just paint where i want the larger graph to be a few moments later maybe i'll increase the density now i'm going to show you how you can use your own assets so for that i'm going to append my grass asset pack from my habit hole tutorial you can download it by following the link in the description i'm going to go to collection then i'm going to append this grass set long collection i'm going to move it here if you are using an object or multiple objects then you can scatter it as object but in my case it's a collection so I'm gonna scatter it as collection first I'm gonna decrease the density a little bit so I can work smoothly then I'm gonna change a few settings I'm gonna decrease down the scale a little bit then I'm gonna increase the randomness scale I'm gonna randomize the rotation a little bit And as earlier, I'm gonna drag and drop this object, set that to relative, connect the geometry to the geometry, and then I'm gonna select the grass, and then I'm gonna click on vertex mask, then I'm gonna select the landscape, go to weight paint mode, and then I'm gonna paint where I want this grass to be. And we can see the grass because the density is again pretty low. So I'm gonna select my grass in the outliner because we can see the grass. Then I'm gonna increase the density up to 20. No, that's too much. I'm gonna decrease that to 10 or maybe 5. I'm gonna decrease down the scale. And now I'm gonna paint where I want this grass to be. And then you can keep adding more and more assets and you can get some pretty cool looking results. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so you won't miss any of my new videos. I'll be back.